Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Also hope you enjoyed those photos from the garden in the spring. Uh, spring has finally briefly arrived in the Northwest. Uh, we had a couple nice warm days with sun and now a couple days later, we're back to the clouds and uh, looks like rain is in the forecast again, which explains why there were so many people at the garden on Saturday that I went to make these photos. Uh, one of the first challenges was finding a parking spot. It was so crowded, but I'm really glad people were out enjoying uh, the beautiful spring flowers as I got to do as well. Um, another challenge that day was uh, the sun. It was It's still pretty low in the sky around here. So uh, when it's out and sunny, you get the really, really hard shadows, which isn't as photographically, in my opinion, attractive in most subjects. So uh, my go-to solution in cases like that is to try and get minimal, to concentrate on just subjects and also to lean in a little bit to backlighting the subject so you get some glow, you get some textures, you get all the things that look a little different than when the light is from the front. Um, to help me do all that, uh, uh, all the photos in this video were made on the uh, Fujinon XF 70-300 to lens, which I really, 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 really like. Uh, it's a great lens for getting lots of image magnification, even if you can't be close to your subject. It's got uh, awesome image stabilization, really fast autofocus, and I personally really, really like the image quality. My one and only complaint, and this is my complaint on a lot of Fuji lenses lately, is the aperture ring is just too loose. It's too loose. It's so easy to bump and knock off what the setting you have set, and then all of a sudden you look and you go, oh, it moved. Yeah, yeah, so Fuji, please, please, if you get a chance, tighten up your aperture rings. They work really good on some of your lenses as far as a stiffness of rotation and smoothness still. But uh, I know on the 70 millimeter as well as the uh, 70 to 300 here, excuse me, and the 30 millimeter prime um, macro, too loose, too loose. Yeah, look at your 50 millimeter F2. That's a nice, nice one. And the 16, mm, 16 to 80 millimeter also has just the right amount of resistance and smoothness. I know we're being picky and these are definitely first world problems, but still for the amount of money we pay for these lenses and how important they are for us in creating the photos we want to create, they should be just the way we'd prefer. So one more thought about getting out and making photos. Um, my schedule, as I've mentioned a number of times since January, and it will continue through June, has been a lot busier with creating videos for a couple new online classes at Highline College. So I haven't had as nearly as much uh, flexibility in my schedule, and I realize how easy it is to not make it a priority to go out and make photos. In the midst of all the other things, finding an hour or two and then the time to edit, the time to appreciate the photos, that's hard work. So congratulations and yay to all of you who do that with a busy, hectic, packed and sometimes inflexible schedule. Um, thanks for doing that. Thanks for sharing and making it a priority. Thanks for getting out there and uh, making art for the rest of us to enjoy. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I know I'm appreciating anew how much I enjoy photography and how important it is to me. So I'm so I'm looking forward to my schedule, getting back to whatever my normal is uh, in mid-June uh, through the rest of this year. So ah, that's some thoughts. Thanks for making photos. Make it a priority when you can. Uh, I know for me, for my life, it's really, really important. It's a powerful way to, to stay emotionally, mentally, and somewhat physically healthy. I, there were no donuts at uh, the botanical garden. So uh, anyway, I uh, hope that all makes sense and I hope it's a little helpful to you. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you have comments, thoughts you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. All these photos were also on Flickr and I've left a Flickr link in the video description down below as well. So anyway, that's what I have for today. I look forward to seeing you in a future video. So until that time comes, I hope you stay safe. Stay well and have fun creating photos. Bye for now.